In this video, we will discuss federalism. Federalism is about government power. Federalism means that power is divided between a national government and state or provincial governments. In the United States, some powers belong to the national government in Washington, D.C. And other powers belong to the state governments, such as the state government in New York. We call the national government in Washington, D.C. the federal government. In addition to the national government in Washington, D.C., there is a government in each state, so 50 state governments. Because of federalism, some powers belong to the federal government and other powers belong to the state governments. One power of the federal government is to regulate trade between the states. Another power of the federal government is to declare war. States have powers too. States have their own laws and their own police. States also generally run their own schools. Some powers are shared. For example, both the federal and state governments have the power to tax. Why does the United States have a system of federalism? Remember, Americans fought the Revolutionary War to gain independence from Britain. The 13 former colonies became 13 independent states. States were concerned about losing power to other states. States were also concerned about losing their power to the national government. However, many Americans realized they needed a central government strong enough to unite the country. So on the one hand, state governments did not want a national government so strong that there would be tyranny, but a central government that was too weak could not unite the country. Federalism was a compromise. Federalism provides some power to the national government in Washington, D.C., and other powers belong to each of the states. Because of federalism, there are both federal and state legal systems in the United States. That's why in the United States, there are both federal and state courts. If you'd like to discuss federalism or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by my website and blog, and feel free to send me an email.